guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a little special for me because i'm going to be recommending you a few space books that i grew up reading and these are the books that have inspired me throughout my astrophysics journey and i wanted to share a part of it with you today so let's get started first up is this encyclopedia uh, so basically there is a story behind this book so um, this i was nine years old and my grandmom gifted me this book and uh, that's when i fell in love with astrophysics that's when i told my parents that i want to be uh, wanted to become an astronomer so as a nine-year-old i was so 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 in love with these images that it blew my mind you know it blew my mind that how can something be so beautiful and so colorful and so magical so i thought space to be very magical and that's how I fell in love with astrophysics and that's how my astrophysics journey began. This is, this book is the reason why I fell in love with astrophysics. So this is number one for me and this is the number one book I recommend for all young kids out there, for nine year olds, for eight years, for eight year olds, for all ages actually. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful encyclopedia. Next up is this book by Richard Dawkins and this book's name is The Magic of Reality. So it's not only a space book, so it talks about science concepts through beautiful illustrations. The illustrations are so beautiful. So people who are just uh, getting started, they can uh, buy this book because it has so many beautiful illustrations that you'll completely fall in love with and uh, I highly recommend this book if you're interested in science in general and you don't want to go in depth so this book is perfect this book is perfect now comes The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene so I personally love Brian Greene I watched all his lectures I watched his shows I watched all his interviews. It's just, I just love this man. I really love this man. I love the way he explains difficult concepts. I love the way he explains sort of string theory. I like the way he explains literally every complicated thing in the universe, which is very hard to decipher and understand. If you're into basically whatever Sheldon Cooper does, right? Whatever Sheldon Cooper studies in the Big Bang Theory, this book is for you. It's beautifully explained, very, very complicated stuff explained so beautifully, so simply. And I must say that this is a 5 on 5, a must read if you're really interested in theoretical physics. So this is for you. <laughs> if you're interested in learning about the Indian American astrophysicist Subramaniam Chandrasekhar, then this book is perfect for you. This book talks about Chandrasekhar's journey to discovering the Chandrasekhar limit, right? And uh, it also talks about the confrontation Chandrasekhar had with Eddington in regards to this limit. So Eddington called his theory absurd. This book also explores the relationship dynamics between Eddington and Chandrasekhar and how the theories came up to be. So if you're interested in star formation and Chandrasekhar limit, Eddington limit and all sorts of things that stars do. So this book is perfect for you. And if you are just new to astrophysics, I would say sit with an astrophysics dictionary because it's not so simply explained, but um, I think you'll be fine. You know, I think you'll be fine. And there are a lot of images too to help you understand about these scientists. So sometimes I wish I was back in the 1930s, you know, <laughs> to just see the confrontation, to see astrophysics in the beam, you know. And um, so yes, <laughs> this work is perfect if you're interested in learning about Chandrasekhar and his theories. How many of you understand Big Bang entirely? Like, why do cosmologists, uh, astronomers, like scientists believe that Big Bang is the origin of the universe? Why? I mean, why? How did this absurd idea come into being, right? So, 
This work is perfect for you if you want to learn about the bank and understand it properly. Uh, it's beautifully written. It's so simple. Generally, I love the way Simon Singh wrote the book. So beautifully written, um, a simple language, all complicated theories explained beautifully. It also talks about Aristotle and his absurd theories about the universe. And we all know about it, right? And um, yes, I would say go ahead and read this book. And if you're new to astrophysics, this is a perfect book to start with. It's not astrophysics, it's not science without mentioning Stephen Hawking. Uh, I honestly loved, loved him. When I was working on my undergraduate thesis, so I had to read a lot of his papers and I found his papers to be so, so beautifully narrated, so beautifully written. It was so easy to understand. Uh, if you read other astrophysics papers, they use very complicated terms and you know, there are times when you're like, what are you saying, right? You're like literally scratching your head and going all frustrated uh, when you read papers these days because there are a lot of abbreviations and uh, these scientists don't even mention the full forms and it's like you have to, literally you have to decipher astrophysics papers lately. Just loved Stephen Hawking with all of my heart and these are the books I thought I have to have to mention. First up is A Brief History of Time. <laughs> this is the book that got me into black holes. Honestly, uh, Big Bang, black holes, how the universe began, uh, then the grand design of the universe, you know, the shape of the universe, matter, critical density, black holes, time, M theory, everything in this. And then if you want a copy of Stephen Hawking's lectures, then this is a perfect book, Theory of Everything. It's very simply written. And um, then if you feel like this book is a little difficult to understand, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> so. This book is uh, A Briefer History of Time, is an illustration version of this book. So if you find yourself stuck here, go ahead and buy this and read it. It's so simply written. The illustrations are so good, so good. It uses um, real life examples to help you understand what Stephen Hawking is trying to actually explain. So, it makes space so much interesting and easier to understand. So read this book for sure. So my friends, don't wait too long and just go ahead and buy these books. Last book, I really want to mention it because she is my favorite um, science communicator, my favorite astrophysicist. I actually look up to her. I follow her on Instagram. And I love her videos. I love the way she explains difficult concepts and I love her books. So this is the book that I read recently, A Brief History of Black Holes by Dr. Becky Smetarest. So if I'm pronouncing the name wrong, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so uh, anyways, this book is five on five, honestly. Uh, she uses comedy in this book as well. She uses a lot of references from Taylor Swift songs. That's there. And um, there's also a reference from Pokemon. I love Pokemon. <laughs> and uh, she talks about uh, Subramanyam Chandrasekhar here as well, as I mentioned in my earlier book recommendation. I didn't know so many things about black holes. I learned so much about it. And even if you're new to astrophysics, even if you're new to the world of black holes, this book is perfect for you. It's so beautifully written, so simply, so beautifully explained as well uh, that you won't even feel like, you know, I didn't feel dumb reading this book. There are some space books that you read and you're like, you just don't understand what's going on and then you feel completely dumb and then the imposter syndrome hits you. So when you read this book, you would, you would actually understand the complicated 
stuff when it comes to space the theories and everything so i must say this this book is very well written it's so beautifully researched it was thorough it was literally a brief history of black holes how the name black holes came into existence how did black holes come into understanding how were black holes discovered how did we ever see a black hole literally it covers everything this book covers everything i was very impressed reading this this is a must must read please put it on your tbr right now or just go to amazon and order this book right away <laughs> it's beautifully written it's a perfect book if you want to learn about black holes literally everything about black holes and um, yeah these are the books that i've mentioned today and please give all of these a read you know what i want to keep this down <laughs> those were the books that i loved reading uh, so i really wanted you guys to read the, these books because they helped me tremendously throughout my astrophysics journey and if you're just new to astrophysics if you're just getting started with space or if you just like to read about space these books are perfect and um, you let me know if you have read any of these books on the comments below and do let me know if you have any other recommendations that I should have mentioned uh, on this video. So thank you so much for watching my video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and see you next week. Bye bye.